And we're now at Simba's return. All right. Give me a second. I had to take notes, because this whole level right here is it, it's a maze. Fortunately, I know exactly where we're supposed to go. So, first things first, we're going here. There's not much of a point to it. There's a couple hyenas, that's really all that's here. But there's a one-up. And, uh, I don't know about you, but I want as many of these things as I can get. Which is eight. You can only hold up to eight. And eight is what I need. So that's that's the first one. We're going in here. Another thing I should I should mention is uh, you can't actually enter any of the doors until all the enemies are defeated. So uh, all these guys, you got you gotta you gotta take care of them. Anyways, I think we're gonna want to go in here. It's a very good idea to go in here because this is the one door that actually has something really nice. as a life extension. We haven't seen one of those since the beginning, remember? But, uh, yeah, it has a life extension. And, as you know, more hits means more success. It, it's a good thing to have more hits. And so, yeah, basically that that's, uh, that's the whole point of going in there. And now, if we go in here, we get a 1-up. We also have to kill this guy, but, you know, I'm not worried. So, that's that's a little detour to this whole thing. The first two doors are, you can get stuff in them, and it's, 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 I recommend it, especially if you want lives and one-ups, which I do. I have the most lives. Now, something I haven't mentioned, if you have the most lives that you can carry, uh, one-ups do not spawn. The game actually just... Uh, yeah, it just despawns all one-ups if you have as much as you can. So, basically, now we have to go into a whole bunch of paths. Jesus Christ, guy. And he's dead. Now, it, it's going to get a little tricky because, uh, man, they all look tired. I don't know why. They were so vibrant and youthful when I was a kid. Now they're just lame and dull and... Can I platform? Can I platform game? Thank you. I platformed. Platforming is what I want. We got a little bit of a corridor. And we got two hyenas. Now it's going to get a little interesting when we uh, when we go into the next door. I say that because the game is going to start really dicking around with the whole maze concept. Because as you can tell, we got uh, we got like, we got options. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, this door right here will take you right to the start. Uh, don't take that door. These two doors will actually loop, so you'll enter this one, exit that one, and enter this one, exit that one. The only one you want to take is actually this one, because it'll get you to a one up, and I. And it won't show up because, you know, again, I have the most one-ups, so, you know, if there was any one-ups, they will despawn, but, um... But, you know, I'll, I'll show you because that's what I do. I, I, I don't know. I like, I like to explain things. It helps me focus on the game a little bit better and it also helps me, uh, understand. If, if we had, uh, seven, if we had seven lives, the one-up would actually be right here. But again, I have a whole, I have everything, so uh, yeah, not gonna spawn. And also, if I can jump right, there we go, thank you. Um, now we can exit. So the way that we do want, oh yeah. By the way, every time you go back into a door, actually, what am I talking about? You already saw this, but yeah, enemies will respawn every time you enter a door. So the real way that you want to go is actually into this door. Because, uh, you know, it takes it takes us to the exit, and that's what we want. We want to go to the exit. We want to leave this place. It's not a fun place to be. So, 
Aside from the additional hyena that happens to be chilling right here, the game gives us two options. One final chance to really dick you around. So I'm going to say this right now. This one right here, the right door, because you got a left door right there. This door right here will actually take you back to the start. I think there's a path. Uh, let me just check my notes. Uh, nope, it'll just take you straight back to the path, like, to the start. You don't want to go that way. Go to the left door. <laughs> go into the left door. It's, it's the final chance for the game to really just drive the point home. Uh, it's a maze with the uh, go back to the start sections. But uh, I, I should probably also mention the la second to the last level. You beat the guy, you did it. We're on Pride Rock. We're at, and we got Scar. He's our final boss. The game is just like beat the beat the shit out of your uncle. Cause you know Scar Scar was our uncle. Also, instant death pits. Be acrobatic. Kill some hyenas. I don't I don't mind this as a boss fight because uh, it breaks it up into segments. It's got platforming, and then you gotta beat some hyenas, and then you gotta you gotta fight your uncle. A couple times. Also, you got lightning. Lightning is not on your side. Apparently, apparently, Mother Nature hates you. Apparently, she also hates me. But you know, I, I digress. Ah, I got, I got the life. The game is generous with the health. Okay, you can go that way for some health. Bomb path is health. Well, I guess I guess I showed that off a little bit. Bomb life is uh, one of the big health regenerative bugs. Well, it's one of the bugs that gives you more health than the other ones. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Back up killed him. That, that was weird. And two, I'm glad. I'm glad I'm messing this up. A lot. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Alright. Uh, great. Great. All that for death. It's okay. I have eight lives. I'm, I'm not worried. Let's just try that once more. Okay. We got our uncle. Beat the crap out of him. Bam, bam, bam. Uncle Scar. I'm going. It's a cat fight. I'm gonna smack you. Actually, my smacks to his face are, you know, he, uh, if you smack his ass, that counts. But otherwise, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's a chump. He's not gonna take any damage. Freaking hyenas. Yeah, I totally want to suplex them. They're actually vulnerable when they're, uh, they're vulnerable when they're all tired like that but otherwise they're really annoying all right let's, well that saves me a little bit of time I figured since I was gonna avoid the bottom path I guess I might as well show off the bottom path gotta do some trick jumps there we go okay what you're really trying to aim for is that. That's what it's all been leading up to. And now we got some more tricky jumps. Okay, now we're done with that section. Now we got uh, we got hyenas. Well, we went down like a chump. We got more lightning. And we got to fight our uncle again. I gotta beat the crap out of my uncle. Man, that just sounds so abusive. <laughs> but then again, I mean, like, if you haven't seen The Lion King, you know how this ends. You know, you know what's happened. I mean, freaking Scar killed our dad. He, uh, he, he pretty much annihilated. He just, like, made everything in the Pride Lands go to shit. It was terrible. But it ends so well. Anyways, 
The whole reason you go up there is for a life. Uh, not life. What am I talking about? You go for some life. Now one up. Bam. Just want to kill these guys because uh, I'm not a fan of them. The elephant graveyard hurt me, okay? I'm sorry. It's like the hardest level in the entire game. If you know what you're doing, and be prepared. For some reason, I don't know why that's called be prepared. It has nothing to do with the song. We already did that. We, I mean, like, you know, the elephant graveyard. It has the song be prepared. But then again, you go to, to the... Oh, we're already here. Final boss fight. Okay, now it's you and Scar. If you know how this ends... Ah, I didn't know he could do that. Apparently, he could jump and totally hit you. I didn't know that works. All right, the whole point is we have to we have to fight him kind of like how we're doing right now, and when he's tired like he is right now, like every other enemy, then you just make you just back him up to the corner. All right, then in in suplex fashion you beat the game. That's right. That's what it took. You had to suplex your freaking uncle off the cliff. And then, you know, it proceeds to the hyenas uh, eating his corpse. Or, actually, he was still alive. The hyenas end up murdering your uncle. And, yeah, spoilers. You beat the game. You, um, okay. Uh. Man. I, I did it. I did it! Up in graveyard broke me, but then I recomposed myself afterwards and then proved... Uh. Honestly, I thought Be Prepared was there was going to be a lot more failure and I was going to be lamenting and I was going to be like, God damn it, how am I supposed to do this? But no, actually Be Prepared is still about the same challenge, even on easy. And we look like our dad, except without, you know, like uh, our, our daughter or I don't know, we don't have, it looks exactly like the beginning. Ugh, this is great. Man. This is so glorious and victorious, and I'm happy. <laughs> Honest God, I was I was expecting there to be like a little bit more failure. I mean, Grant, there was a lot of the elephant graveyard in that. You have no idea, viewers. There was a lot to explain when it came to that. It was ridiculous. I kept dying over and over again. I uh, actually cut out some of those Everything recordings just because um. Is our kingdom. Oh yeah, the Lion King. We got Can You Feel the Love tonight? And we got all the credits. All the sweet credits. Oh, my God. No, seriously. I got to the elephant graveyard. I had to replay that over again. That's why I was so drained at the beginning. My God, that was the one that... I wasn't expecting that one to be it, you know? I was expecting this to be another scrap recording, but no, of course, the one where you're like all drained and tired and like, oh, I'm running out of steam. I can't do this anymore. No, bam! Freaking, you, you do it. You go to the elephant graveyard. You beat the vultures. You beat the one that like goes on screen, then we co then comes back, all replenished with its health, and it's just it's stupid. I didn't like that part. It made me sad. But that's not the worst part. The worst part is at the end with the three hyena boss fight. You know, triple the boss fight from the first level. Except this time, it's all like you know. It's all like uneven ground, so basically you gotta be able to read it. The AI is kind of wonky in that sense because it's a I don't know it, it tricks you, it fools you, and you got you got like multitask because you gotta be able to focus on one hyena and the other because one's gonna lunge at you and the other one's gonna stay there. So basically you gotta go in just so slowly, but at the same time it's just gonna be annoying. Ah. But then you beat the elephant graveyard and go to Stampede, and that's fine. I, you know, I like that level. It takes away from a lot of the tension that I was feeling. And then, of course, after that... Actually, I should explain. Before Stampede, you got the bonus level if you're like me and grab the bonus bug. But then after that, you got, um... You, you, then you got Stampede. And then you got Simba's Exile, which is just dreary all the way around. And granted, it's a very dreary part of the movie because you know Mufasa died and that was always sad it's like it's a sad time for everybody and then of course after that then you got Hakuna Matata and let's be honest that level's awesome and now you got the intro credits and everything and ugh 
I, I gotta test something else. You know, just, just, hold on, guys. What is easy? Did, did I, I don't, I don't even remember. I, I, what is easy? I have to know. What is easy? Can I get hit? I can't get hit. Um. Do, do I have like more? Do I have like, do I have like defense? Do it, does it? Does it take like two hits for everything? Do I have like double? No? What is easy? Anybody know? You still, is, am I just on easy mode? Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me let me get to the boss real quick as I try to comprise my closing statements because uh, uh, thoughts, closing thoughts. Because uh, you know, I I enjoyed the game. I like it. It's a fun game. I, I had a lot of fun with it. I just what is easy? And, and you know, like I, I hope you guys had fun watching it. I mean, like granted. It can get really difficult at times, but other than that, it's, it simply handles really well. You know, it's a fun platformer. It's fun for the whole family. I'm still confused. What is easy? No, he's supposed to take one hit. What is easy? Why is there three settings? It should be yes or no. Why is there a maybe? I don't know. I don't understand. Dad, help me! I'm, 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 I'm ending it here. I mean, like, come on. I'm, uh, I think I have one more video I have to show just because, like, it, it's one of those things where it's like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have done Lion King without doing this, because there's more lament. But, but, but after that, I got, I got, uh, I gotta watch Lion King. It's one of my favorite movies. Okay, I'm gonna end it off here. Uh, you guys are wonderful. Thank you for watching. As always, I appreciate it. There will be more content later. This is just uh, something to fill in some time. I had fun, except for, you know, be prepared. After that, I was, I, was, I was enjoying it. I was having a lot of fun. I liked suplexing my uncle off the cliff. It's a very abusive last battle, but, you know, I'm, I'm fine with it. They're lions. They're lions. The lion sleeps night. Roar at the monkeys.